Any thoughts on the world's biggest game collection being sold for 750000 today and on the, in quote, collector? I'm not going to speak to the individual selling them. I don't know anything about the guy. Supposedly, this From is... From Buffalo. Supposedly, this is, this is his second collection. Supposedly, he had a collection that he sold off originally. This is his second one. I think it's taken him 20 years to build up this collection. Um, now, here's the thing. It was sold for... The, that was the final bid on Game Gavel. I'm not going to be saying it's sold for that until it's paid for and it's verified that it was paid for. Right. That's a large chunk of change to drop. I just, in my heart, don't see someone dropping that chunk of change online for a game collection. The type of people with that money to throw around, they're buying art. They're, they're buying comic books that are priceless. They're not buying a huge game collection that's going to cost probably ten to 20000 maybe just to ship yeah. by itself. And looking over... I don't have it in front of me now. I did look over the list originally and scanned it. I think supposedly a lot of this value was a lot of these games are either complete or sealed. Mm. But in terms of the big marquee titles, they're, they, were, they weren't there. There's no NWC cards. There's no Magical Chases in here. Right. That, yeah, if you had all of those cards, I can spe- see, okay, if you have... Like, say if you had... Uh, the, let's, let's just say, pick 20, 20 game consoles between the late 70s and the late 90s. If you had 20 complete in-box... Or and or partially sealed game sets, NES, Super Nintendo, Genesis, Atari 2600. Yeah, I could see it dropping for that much, maybe, to right. someone who's nuts. But just having, say, two thirds of all those sets, no, no. And, and I don't see it happening, especially since, you know, when you're gonna dish out money, usually it's gonna be less than the sum of the parts when you're dropping it on a set. It's usually not gonna go for more. Right. And this is a, an amount that's. I think more. Well, they said it averaged out to sixty-eight dollars a game. That's a lot. That's insane. Especially for when you when you look at a lot of these Nintendo games that even if they're sealed, they don't go for more than twenty-five bucks. Some of these games. Yeah. Even and that's if you're buying them individually. Usually, you want to get a bulk deal on something like this. Right. Sixty-eight dollars a game for what is it? Eleven thousand games. That's yeah. yeah. That's not a deal. No. To me, I don't care. Yeah. You know, like I said, we're we're not talking about there being. You know, a sealed stadium events in there. There's not like a sealed even Bonx Adventure any you know Nintendo version in there. We're, you know, we're talking about yeah. There's some games that are probably uncommon and rare, but we're not the marquee titles that would make it worth that amount. At least that's what I saw. 